Hello friends, welcome to Easy Learning Economics. I am Dr. Carol. In the previous lecture, we discussed in detail that what is monetary policy, what are the types of monetary policy, how does central bank implement this monetary policy and what are the tools and what is liquidity trap. And also we are familiar with the exchange rate, different types of exchange rate. ISLM curve and uh, goods market and money market. So, if you want to learn in detail about the monetary policy, exchange rate types and ISLM curve and model and Mandel Fleming model. So, you can watch my lectures. So, the links are attached in description box. In this lecture, we shall learn that how does monetary policy affect under a flexible exchange rate system. The interest rate is measured on y axis whereas the output is measured on x axis is is the investment saving curve that is downward falling curve because of the inverse relationship with interest rate and lm is the supply of money so that the goods market and money market are in equilibrium at point e where the interest rate is 5% in the other diagram, the exchange rate dollar per rupee has been shown on y axis, whereas that the quantity of rupee is shown on x axis. D is the demand curve, demand for rupee, and S is the supply of rupee. Demand and supply of rupee in, in foreign exchange market is equal at E dash, where the exchange rate is determined 0.2 dollars. So, it means the 0.2 dollars can buy a 1 rupee. Suppose the GDP in Pakistan is Y1 for IS LM schedule. The rate of interest in Pakistan is 5 percent that is the same across the globe and exchange rate for Pakistan rupee is 0.2 dollars for schedule D and S. Suppose Pakistan increases money supply from LM to LM dash that reduces the interest rate from 5 to 4 percent. Now, Pakistan investors in order to earn more interest supply more Pakistan rupee in the foreign exchange market that shift the supply of rupee from S to S dash and exchange rate decreases from 0.2 to 0.1 US dollar unabated it means the continuous capital flow from Pakistan to USA depreciates the rupee. The depreciated rupee increases autonomous exports and causes IS to shift rightward from IS to IS dash and increase in money supply increases output in Pakistan from Y1 to Y2 and the rate of interest in Pakistan is now 5 percent for IS dash and LM dash curve which equals the world rate. I hope this would be the helpful for you. So, if you want to learn in detail, you must watch the monetary policy, ISLM curve and exchange rate. Thanks for watching.